So in this video, we're gonna be testing out these five different foam cannons or foam lancers. We're gonna work out which one foams the best, which one is the best overall to use. So we're gonna be testing these out on the side of this red Evo 10 today. So let's get right into it. Hey guys, so welcome to the channel. Here we make car detailing, product reviews, comparisons, and just general car cleaning and car care type videos. So if that's something you're interested in, definitely consider subscribing to the channel. But with that said, let's get into what we're actually doing today. So like I said, we're doing a five-way foam cannon comparison. So I'll quickly run through what we have here. So starting off, we have this eBay or Amazon, just cheap, basic foam cannon. This one has been upgraded with a 1.1 mil orifice, so which does make it foam a little bit better. So to do that, you just remove whichever connection you have. So the quick connect for me, remove that, get a flathead screwdriver in there and you twist out the orifice and upgrade it to the 1.1 mil. That whole setup is under $25. So I'll put a link in the description to one that you can get with the 1.1 mil orifice also linked and that will be under $25. So really good value. The one downside of it is it is tall and top heavy, so it will fall over pretty easy. Um, but for that price, it does work quite well. Next up, we have the Bowden's own Snowblow Cannon. So this one I've had for around four years, and you can see it's also fallen over a few times, um, but it does have a wide base, so it doesn't fall over very easily. I've just dropped it a couple of times, and it still works great. Um, this one is gonna set you back $99, but is it's from all the sort of Australian automotive retailers, they always have sales on Bowden's products, so you can pick it up for around $70 in a 30% off sale. Um, next up, we have the Waxit new version foam cannon. So this one is going to set you back $83, but it will come with a one liter bottle of NV Snow, so really good price. And it does also fix one of the other issues the first two have, of having a really wide, a really narrow fill neck, whereas this one, as you can see, is super wide. So when you're filling it up and you're pouring your snow foam water in, it's not going to sort of bubble up and overflow. Um, and also have upgraded 1.1 mil orifices into all of these, I should say. Next up, we have the older version of the Waxit foam cannon. So this one is, I believe, an Italian-made PA foam lance. Um, it used to be for sale at Waxit, also with the one litre bottle of NV Snow. But unfortunately, they've, not unfortunately, but they've changed it to this version, which is better for having the wider neck and um, wider base, so it doesn't fall over. But this one was really good quality, um, and I used this for quite a few years and was really happy with it. It's just the falling over, which I wasn't the biggest fan of. So that one, unfortunately, isn't, isn't for sale on Waxit anymore, like I said but it was around the $82, $83 as well with the one liter bottle of NV Snow. And then lastly, we have the MJJC Foam Cannon Pro. So this one actually got sent out to me by the guys at MJJC. Um, so I just made a video on it, testing it out. I really liked it. Um, as you can see, it also has the wide neck and the wide base, super wide base. So it's not gonna fall over. It's not gonna blow over in the wind. Um, really good quality and actually has a ball bearing in the bottom type thing that always no matter what angle you tip it at it always is sucking up the foam solution so works really well um, and that one is going to set you back around the same as the wax at around the $83 shipped to Australia um, depending on the conversion price at the time they come out of China um, but I do have a link to that in the description um, and that is I believe at a slight discount so make sure you check that I will put a link to all of these in the description um, so yeah, what we're going to, to be doing in this is pouring 450 mils of water and then 50 mils of our NV Snow. So it's gonna be the same across all of them. They all have the 1.1 mil orifice except for the MJJC. It came with the 1.1 mil and I've actually not put it in there because it foams really well without it. So I didn't feel the need. Um, so I believe it has a 1.25 and the spare 1.1 mil I've actually put into this Waxit foam cannon. So, it's gonna be a pretty even test other than the one not having the foam um, 1.1 mil orifice, but I think this will possibly still be the winner. So yeah, we're going to be, like I said, spraying it onto the Red Evo 10. So before doing that, I will rinse it down. Um, we're also just using my cheap $99 Ryobi pressure washer, so nothing crazy. 
So if I'm getting good foam out of any of these, then it should be the same for you, depending on your sort of water. Um, but yeah, so let's get into it. I'm gonna fill all these up, have it all with 500 mils mixed solution, and then we'll test them out and start foaming the car down. Okay, so as you can see, we have the foam cannons all set up. So yeah, equal amounts, 500 mils total in all, with 50 mils of the NB Snow, 450 mils of water. So going to put the GoPro on my head and test these out. Also have a second camera set up so we can check the foam consistency on all. So yeah, let's um, get our pressure washer set up, give the car rinse down, and let's see which one of these we like the best. All right, so firstly, I'm going to test out the eBay, Amazon cheap setup. And I may have to adjust these as I go because some of them have been sitting for a while, but let's see how this one does. So that's how much I used, really not much. So you could easily go around the whole car with this 500 mil. And you see it's not the thickest, but it is dwelling pretty well. And yeah, got good coverage. So sit this one down. We'll rinse the car off first, so. So next up, going to test the Bowden's own Snowblow Cannon. So give this one a try. So you can see just how much thicker that was. So yeah, like a sort of shaving cream consistency, not as runny, um, whether that's better or not, I don't know. And probably used about the same amount, um, maybe a little bit more if anything, but yeah, as you can see, still probably could go around the whole car quite easily with the 500 mils, um, because obviously I kept spraying back and forth. And yeah, definitely nice thick foam. Um, so this one, I obviously prefer to the eBay one so far. Um, yeah, a bit of thicker foam, easier to just sort of sit on the ground. It's not going to fall over. And yeah, it's got quite good dwell time being that thick foam. So we'll now rinse that off to try our next one. Right, guys next up we have the waxit foam cannon so had to actually just step away for a minute so hopefully the camera over there is still in the same angle uh, actually ran out of batteries so hopefully you got enough of the the previous the bowden's one but here we go for the waxit So I'm going to say that's pretty similar 
to the Bowden's one. Uh, super thick, sort of shaving cream type consistency. And you can see it's running off nicely. So that would definitely take a lot of dirt and debris with it if the car was actually dirty. And yeah, it's um, definitely one of the better ones. So like the wider neck for filling as well as the solid base, not easily tipping over. So yeah, definitely performed a lot better than it did in my initial review when I didn't change the orifice out. So with the 1.1 mm, it's a really nice foam cannon this one. So let's, uh, let's rinse this off and let's try our next one. All right, next up we have the Italian PA Lance, I believe. Um, but yeah, this is the previous Waxit foam cannon. So, let's see how this one does. So yeah, you can see why I like this one so much. Super thick foam. And really like nice spray pattern consistency. I don't know if that was noticeable to you guys, but um, yeah, kind of makes it easier to just cover the whole car consistently. It's not as patchy as some of the other ones. Um, but yeah, really do like this one. Just the tipping over ability can be annoying. So after you sort of go around the car and I would usually then sort of sit it down and then go to do the rinse. Often I'd come back, it would be fallen over and had spilt. So yeah, but really, really like this one. Um, as you can see, you get great results with it. And if I can find this exact one, um, I will put a link to it. So let's go ahead and rinse that one off before we try our last. All right, last up we have the MJJC Foam Cannon Pro. So this one I really did like in the previous video I made on it. Um, so yeah, let's test this one out. Okay, now I accidentally had that on like the jet pattern basically. So as you saw at the start, it was uh, a very, uh, not very angled spray. But at the end, as I adjusted it out, you can see just how thick that was going on. And obviously since it was so thick, it's all going to run off a bit quicker, but you can see it's leaving a fair bit to dwell. Um, yeah, I'd say that had to have been the thickest foam. Um, now, it looks like I used probably a lot more. Uh, firstly, probably because when I started out, it was in the jet pattern. Uh, but this is such a wide base that it does look deceiving. Um, even when it was at 500 mil, this is actually like a 1.2 liter or so bottle. Um, so yeah, probably used the most as well anyway, but it's not falling over as you can see. And yeah, really, really thick foam. And you can see it's still running off. So a lot of people say, you know, is really thick foam even good? It runs off too fast. You can see that the majority of it ran off, which I, obviously I sprayed it on a little bit too thick um, for the test. But after that initial shaving cream layer runs off, you can see it still does slowly run off the car like the other ones did. So yeah, we'll rinse that, this one off and we will talk about the results and what my thoughts are after trying them all out. Alright guys, so we've finished testing out all the foam cannons. The car has completely been 
foamed quite a few times um, and I did actually finish off just wanted to test out using the eBay one a little bit more straight after using the MJJC just to see the difference and it still worked pretty well um, just not as thick foam but I sprayed the whole I went around the whole car with it and let it dwell and still works well so what are my thoughts um, on which one of these is the best and I'll say I'm gonna personally say that the best one is probably the MJJC it is the wider neck so easy to fill up it's actually more than one liters like I said so if you do actually so here's the one liter line here so if you do actually put one liters of product in there and you're finding that it's sort of foaming up even say if you were using like the wax it one for example it's still gonna be foaming up near the top um, and bubbling out whereas this one you have an extra quite a few hundred mils I'm unsure the exact size of this but yeah for that reason for the fact that like you can see there you can actually turn that horizontal or vertical or diagonal whichever way you'd like um, yeah I think this one is is my favorite to use um, the best quality one would go between the MJJC and this older version of the Waxit this one I've had for around three years now I'd say and it's just really good quality um, never had an issue with it and also the Dowden's one really good quality had this for four years the bottle on this is super thick you can't even really squeeze it in um, dropped this like I said a bunch of times and yeah, never really had any major issues with it so yeah all sort of three of these are good quality um, this newer wax it one um, it's actually really good quality too but feels a little bit cheaper um, I guess the difference being that these two are plastic at the top rather than brass but either way I mean they all the only one that doesn't feel as good quality is definitely this eBay one um, but like I said I've had this almost as long as the Bowden so I'd say three and a half years for this one and it still works um, it's just not as foamy but yeah my personal opinion is the MJJC is my favorite I think the best deal is probably the Waxit one now I know that it is still around triple the price of the eBay one so to say it's the best deal seems odd but getting one liters of NV Snow with it I think this goes for around $30 normally um, and as you saw I used 50 mils with 500 or 450 mils of water so this would last you quite a while um, and it's really good product so I think that makes it kind of the best deal at $83 um, you can get the Bowden's one for around 70 if you have a 30% off sale but again it doesn't come with any soaps um, I think it comes with a 50 mil sample um, but yeah so if you're not really looking to spend a heap of money and you don't really care about thick foam I'd say get this eBay one so we'll have all of these linked in the description like I said but I'd say this eBay slash Amazon one for around $25 once you've upgraded the the 1.1 mil orifice um, really it's all you need so that's why I actually ended up going back around the whole car with it after I'd finished using the MJJC and you can see I've still even got a little bit left in it um, it doesn't seem to use as much product and it still works really well um, I think it's well worth getting if you are sort of just for I just find it satisfying using these and it's getting really thick foam and then walking away letting it dwell for a couple of minutes um, then any of these other ones really gonna work well it's gonna come down to what's the better deal at the time but um, I thought yeah this test would be pretty helpful for you guys um, I will have a link to all these in the description so the MJJC is gonna come out of China I believe you can get these on eBay now as well um, but it's probably a reseller so just watch out for the price it's probably gonna end up paying more than if you go onto their website um, yeah, the Waxit one is coming from Waxit in Melbourne and yeah the Bowden's one you can pick up at any of your retailers um, and these eBay ones like I said there is plenty of Australian sellers selling them for the cheap price you don't need to wait for shipping from China or anything and I will say with the MJJC the shipping out of China is really fast it's not like you're buying from eBay and getting something shipped from China with free shipping which takes as we know quite a while um, the MJJC came to me in around it was under a week basically so I was pretty surprised by that not much different than ordering from Waxit which can take up to a week because of our postal system here in Australia so 
Um, that's my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think. What is, do you think, the best deal and the best Canon? Now, I'm going to say, yeah, the best deal. Wax it. Or just straight up this eBay one. I'd probably personally go with the wax it to get the one litre of snow foam. Um, and then definitely my favourite Canon to use is this MJJC. So that's going to be it for this video. So I really hope you guys enjoy this. Um, hopefully it was helpful because, yeah, you don't have to buy all five of these foam cannons. Um, you can just check this, see which one you like the look of and pick one up. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, give it a thumbs up down below if you did. And leave me a comment. Let me know which one you think is worth your money. If you haven't already subscribed, definitely subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate that. We're really trying to grow this channel up. So always taking recommendations on videos and um, products you'd like to see me test. So leave those down in the comments as well. But with all that said, until next time, I'll catch you guys later.